going to show you here is how you can um, uh, measure uh, the range and bearing to targets. So, uh, you know, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can just take your cursor and you can put your cursor right where the target is. And when you do that, you can't see it uh, uh, down here. So keep your, uh, uh, yeah, I can't really show you this one. Well. They'd have like a pointer, but if you look, I put the cursor right there. If you look down the bottom corner, look in the bottom right corner, this cursor position box, and you can see that the range RNG and the BRG are changing as I move the position of the cursor. So get the cursor right where the target is and I can read the range is 9.9 .9 and the bearing is 7.7. .7. So that's, that's about 10 miles at 7.8 um uh degrees off the bow and this is also uh true as well anyway another way i could do this is i could turn on my ebl and i can also turn on my vrm when i have them both on together what i can do is i can grab where they intersect and i can stretch them out okay now the ebl okay let me actually let me turn the vrm off here this is the ebl electronic uh uh, uh bearing line okay all right um, and um, if I grab that little circle, I can swing this thing right around. And when you when you set this up, what you want to do is you want to put that right in the middle of the target, not on the left edge, not on the right edge of the target, right in the middle of the target. OK, then if I was to put on my VRM, I turn that on. That's the circle. OK, and I can grab that. OK, oh, well, it doesn't seem to be adjusting anywhere. If I come over here, I can click on if you look over here to the right where the cursor is. OK, I can click and slide my mouse around. I want to put that right on the inside edge, okay? And now that's telling me that that vessel is 7.8 nautical miles at 9.94. That's pretty much what the cursor told us as well. Okay, now if I want to do this target, I can adjust my EBL there, okay? And I put that right in the middle. And I can adjust my, my uh, VRM right there, okay? Now that's, so that one is 44 degrees at 10. I can also do this. If I grab right at that intersection, I can adjust both of them simultaneously. Okay. So that means that target three is target three is 134.8 at 5.9. And I can grab these guys. So you have a variety of ways of doing this. You can use the cursor. You can use, you can adjust these one at a time, or you can grab them where they intersect and you can uh, adjust them simultaneously. Remember, the EBL goes in the middle of the target. The VRM goes on the inside edge of the target, not on the far side of the target, not in the middle of the target, on the inside edge of the target. Now, and just in the last uh, couple of minutes here, I'm just going to show you a couple of other little other features, okay? Um, first of all, um, uh, there's this thing called center. Right now, the, um, the, 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 we're in the center of the radar screen, but I can come over here and I can use max view. Okay. And what that does is it extends my view ahead, uh, but it decreases my view astern. So if this is still 12 miles, so if I put my range rings back on, you can see their strange shape now. This is actually the center of everything. Okay. So now this is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay. That's uh, actually, if you look at the lower right corner, the cursor position, that's seven, six, that's about 17 miles. Okay. And what, and back astern. Okay. Two, four, six. Okay. And I look over in the right hand corner, the cursor position, you can see the numbers wiggling a little bit. Okay. It looks to me like I have 6.6 .6 miles astern. So that is a uh, max view, center view. If I click on center, it goes back to center again. Over here, there's some pulses. Right now we're in medium pulse. There's short pulse, long pulse, medium pulse. We'll talk about this quite a bit in the lecture. You usually have two options. Uh, typically, when you put the, um, uh, the radar on, it'll choose one for you, but you might want to uh, put choose a different one under some circumstances. So that's what that is. I already showed you the heading line. I'm going to turn these radar ring, rings off again to clear up the clutter on the screen. I'm actually going to turn EBL off and VRM off too. Okay, and I'm also going to delete all the marks. Okay, so and now I want to show you this other thing. This is enhance. Okay, and this is um, uh, a feature where if I turn it on, just look at these targets here. See how they all got bigger all of a sudden. And what this is doing is it, it essentially it's adjusting uh, on the radar screen itself. It's saying if there's anything on the radar screen that's being projected right now, make it bolder. 
Okay, so it's just a way of taking targets and making them larger. But you can see when you do that, it smushes them a little. It, it smudges them a little bit. Okay, so um, um, when you're um, uh, yeah, smudging isn't a very good word. It accentuates. It exaggerates the return. Okay, um, <clears throat> and so that would make a weak turn a weak target appear larger and might actually attract your attention okay so um and uh, what i can do here is i can also go to standby okay and when i click on standby I'm st i stop transmitting all right um and uh, if i click transmit again i'll start transmitting again and uh um you know my my adjustment my my uh, settings will remain the same um if you know as they were before okay so um, anyway, this is, this is a basic setup and some basic little features here. You'll have to adjust for the basic setup every time there's a new simulation or a simulation is restarted by your instructor for one reason or another.